I was on the phone with him this morning and he um, wanted to send yeah, greetings to you all and um, thank you all for coming out this morning. Um, basically this legislation is the worst type of legislation. It was done under urgency and it was done under, under ignorance. If you read the um, transcripts from Parliament that day, it really reads more like comedy. Anyone who has any knowledge in terms of regulating the internet um, could pretty quickly see that uh, what was going on there was uh, fairly fast I'm sure you've all seen and read the footage there. Um, so, I mean, this is a protest that's been going on for a wee while. The original blackout campaign took place back in 2008, and that campaign was successful. Um, unfortunately, uh, last year and then earlier this year, the campaign's come back in, and it has been less awesome to still have um, people, people fighting against it. Um, the Green Party is the only party who's opposed this law all the way through, and um, we like, encourage greater online content availability, and we think that's a much more effective means of uh, reducing illegal online file sharing by letting people have access to the things that they obviously want and setting up a different market. It's a broken market. The current copyright um, legislation was brought in in 1994. That's 17 years ago. <laughs> um, it's pretty ridiculous that that legislation is still the one that's governing copyright now and that that's, that's the basis for our copyright legislation nowadays. Um, and as Claire says, it goes back even further than that. In terms of the, 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 idea, the ideas behind it, it's, it's to do with regulating the printing press rather than the computer and the internet. It's a ridiculous situation. Um, so, the Greens support New Zealand's creative industry. We do want to, we do want to see them really, really, really well. The fact of the matter is that largely that's the situation anyway. You notice that bands like the Kids of 88 and um, there's quite a few other big, you know, big bands that are making it overseas and being invited to go and play over in the States or over in Europe. Because people over there have seen them on, on YouTube, you see Paris Hilton saying that he loves the Kids of 88 and all of a sudden they're opening up themselves up to a whole new market. So you see that those Kiwi bands that previously may have been a local band can now be international acts because of the internet. Creators don't have a lot to fear from the internet in that respect. Yes there, are intellectual, yes, there are intellectual property issues, and those have to be dealt with. But when it comes down to it, we have to be very, very careful about regulating the internet. It is a right to have access to the internet. It is an important form of communication, and it's important for our democracy and our communication, both within the country and in terms of making connections globally. It's important for business, it's important for study, it's important for education. And the problem with this, they just on a lot of those areas. The people who are likely to be most targeted are not the ones who are the, probably the large scale file sharers who have good technical knowledge and find ways around it. There's, the fact of the matter is, when it comes down to it, there are a lot of loopholes in the legislation and lots of technical ways to get around the legislation. So the people who are going to be punished and brought before the tribunals are not the people who are doing the large scale stuff. My, my, my understanding and my belief is that it's most likely teenagers and young people and who, who have the, um, the ISP account in their name and they will be being brought before the tribunal for things that their children are doing in many cases that they may not even understand what's, what's going on. So it's those sorts of people and those sorts of downloads that are likely to be targeted. I, I'm making a prediction here, of course I don't know, but that's, that's my prediction. It's those people that are going to be brought. It's also the public, the public wireless um, sites. Here in the Octagon's a wonderful one. You can yep. sit out on, on, on your laptop in any of the cafes around here, nearby, in the library. In uh, all those sort of public zones, the people who hold those accounts are the ones who are likely to then be, come under attack. So they're going to have to be a lot more vigilant, and it's going to have a very chilling effect on access to the internet out there in community. So, in terms of its effect, it's not going to be effective at getting the people that they do want, and it's going to be effective at catching all sorts of people that are really quite minor, and it's going to have all sorts of negative impacts. So, that's not the sort of legislation the Green Party um, Again, on termination, we're against termination through and through. Um, there should be no termina termination. As Claire says, it's a civil matter, it's not a criminal matter. There's no way that people should be um, terminated from the internet. And, um, 
what we need to do is we need to go forward and have a public discussion on what copyright should look like in 2011 and 2012. We need to get people out there who have the technical knowledge to help develop the systems so that we can set up a market to replace this one that's failed. That can um, wanting to get access to content from the States the day after it's been played in the States. There's no reason in this day and age why New Zealand should be that far behind. There is no reason for that and there's a market out there for it. It's a failed market currently and that's the reason for um, file sharing and copyright infringement at the moment. It's a failed market. So we need to get out there and have, have a debate about setting up the system as we would like to see it. And as Claire said, we need to put the pressure on the people in Parliament and make them understand why that's important to us and why that and also out to other New Zealanders too. And I think also once some of these um, test cases, the provisional cases start coming in that there will be much more vigilance about it. Once people have had no idea um, about this legislation uh, being pulled in before tribunals for file sharing, um, then I think there will be a lot more a, mo a lot more vigilance about it and a lot more talk in the media. I don't think this is a battle that's going away anytime soon. So I'd like to say keep fighting, keep fighting the good fight and that the Greens are with you. Well, representing like the socialist point of view on this, because we are, our take on it is not just that there's a failed market or it's a broken market, but actually the market itself is broken. So that the problem is that like you know talking about applying this model of like uh, free competition. Well, what we've got monopolies. This is not as though it's just in the uh, creative industry that we have these monopolies dominating everything. It's in every industry. And um, in a market like New Zealand, particularly, like these Warner Brothers, like goes to the government and says, "Rewrite your industrial relations law, rewrite your copyright law." Like aspects of the market, yeah. The market has failed. It doesn't deliver to, to like ordinary people. It delivers to the small number of massive companies. The free market did exist back in the 1800s in the time of Adam Smith. But since, like, for a good hundred years, you've had such big monopolies in the, uh, like, in industry everywhere that there is no actual free market. So I'd say, like, more than it's just a case. Oh well, this is just uh, you were trying to apply the model of uh, copy the, 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 the internet. I'd say much more than that. We're trying to co apply the concept of property itself to ideas. Ideas should be free. Ideas have to be free. Um, and. What we're seeing with the internet actually, you know, really is socialism in action, you know? You've got Linux, for instance, which is like people contributing because they love it into creating something that they will share with everybody else. It's about sharing. It's that simple, you know? And it works. Sharing actually creates the value that like moves us forward a lot more than we need to protect our uh, creatives. We need to protect our, you know, like little startup companies and stuff like that. The best way to protect them, say, in New Zealand, there is no enforcement of copyright. We have a creative explosion in this country. Though that's the socialist position, eh? Get rid of all of the barriers.